Hey Chris, um, I'm going to send you another video uh, for the whole page. It's the Steve Jordan grooves um, that was for another pupil of mine. Um, <clears throat> but I, yeah, do that once you're really comfortable with the first half of number two. So I'll play the first half of number two to you, um, <clears throat> that kind of up to tempo, and I'll slow it down, and then I'll break it down. So. Uh, three, four. Okay, um, so slower. So it's important that you've got the, the accented backbeat, but all the other snares are ghosted. Um, right, you could just try that data on the back beat to start off with. It's important that it's like that, bad, but you could. Uh, I'm not sure how often it gets played like that, but you could try it like that. Uh, but in this context, it is very much yeah, accent, there's a sort of a bounced tap after. Um, and then you can put the snare at the end of the bar. If you find that difficult, just do this first. It's obviously that first snare, which is the data, the echo. Right, and then at the beginning, there's another double snare in, th in this kind of vein. So... Now, if you find that difficult, just do one offbeat snare at the beginning, like this. And then, before you do the whole thing, just kind of fit that in with the rest, the second half of the bar. Sorry, the second part of what we're doing. So... If you find that difficult, take that final snare off. Cool. And then last step is really just, um, well, getting that snare on the end of one. So, uh, maybe the echo snare on the accent. Um, incidentally, that's the same as the first half, number three. Uh, and then finally, that last note. So, um, so this is the first half of number two, as written. Play it nice and slow like that. Um, get comfortable with it a little bit faster. Probably wouldn't do it any faster than that for now. Um, you can try it bounced. That's my favourite way of playing it. Uh, Straight, right, fast but bound, uh, swung, shuffled. Uh, cool. Yeah, and then you can start to do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, probably easier when it's straight, but more stuff with the hi hat. Uh, 